Megan! So recently I did a series of cow paintings because when New Year's Eve was happening I was sitting on the couch and I realized that this year, um, come February, will be the year of the ox or cow and I got excited to draw some cows so I had sat down um, while we were watching TV and I looked up some cow references and I doodled a bunch of different little cows and then I thought how fun it would be to do a series of illustrations of flavored milk cows because, I don't know, I've, I've seen the idea before a few different times where people did, you know, like a chocolate milk cow and a strawberry milk cow and I thought those were very cute and I thought it was a fun way. I always like to combine whatever I want to draw with uh, another prompt to try and keep it a little more fun and interesting for myself. So I thought flavored milk cows would be a great idea. <laughs> The four I started with were a chocolate cow, or a chocolate milk cow, a banana milk cow, a strawberry milk cow, and a uh, melon milk cow. The strawberry, banana, and chocolate were ones that I have seen before in Canada, in my country, and I knew of the melon milk from just watching a lot of um, videos and stuff related to Japan. I think Japan has melon milk and some other spots like Korea do as well. It's like honeydew melon, I think. Anyway, so those were the four I could think of off the top of my head of like different flavored milks. And I thought it'd be fun to make a few different cows. So I went to my Patreon and I asked them to give me some cow prompts. Uh, so they gave me some different species of cows to paint with. Um, so the chocolate cow, which I'm making there, is a belted Galloway. Um, I thought that one was a good idea because I liked the the big bands on it. I thought that would go well with the different colors of chocolate, like milk and dark chocolate. The uh, banana milk cow is a Hungarian gray cow, which in my case it's a Hungarian yellow cow. The strawberry cow is a zebu, and the melon cow um, is a uh, a jersey. So. I chose the jersey and the zebu out of some Instagram suggestions just because um, when I started to illustrate I didn't have enough suggestions from my patrons just yet. <laughs> but I do like asking them for help because it's fun to get my, my prompts from them instead of just trying to figure them all out myself. So with the chocolate cow and choosing the belted galloway I went with that because mainly just the markings. The um, Hungarian grey cow I chose for the banana milk because it had uh, these nice big horns and I wanted to make the horns into bananas so I thought that was pretty cute. And then the jersey and the zebu, um, it took me a while to decide between them but I went with the zebu for the strawberry because I liked like the big hump on their back, it made me think of a big strawberry and uh, I, I didn't end up really doing the strawberry with the hump on the back but I did it with their head and I don't know, I just thought that was cute. And then that kind of left the jersey, which was the most cow-looking cow I could think of out of the props. So I did that one with the melon milk. If I'd found a cow species that was a great big ball, I probably would have done that one instead. But the jersey cow worked pretty well for the melon. All of the cows, I basically did them all between two days. I tried to do them all in one sitting, but it started to get too dark, so I had to wait till the next day to finish. But the chocolate and the banana definitely got done in one day. And I believe I got the inking uh, finished on the strawberry and the melon before I went to bed that day. So you can see here I'm putting out all of my flat colors, just the um, the base for all of them. Although for ones like the Belted Galloway Chocolate Milk Cow, this one I'm pretty sure this is the most I do for its markings just because they're a pretty simple, pretty simple cow. I think I had some gradients in but that was about it. I also wanted all of them to have slightly different poses, so um, originally I did the first one just simply standing, and that was the banana cow, that was the first one I worked on, uh, because that was sort of the warm-up one. <laughs> so I just had uh, had her just standing there with her cute little horns, chilling, and then I was going into the belt of Galloway, and I was trying to think of a fun pose for cows other than just standing and laying down, and I remembered I'd seen some photos of cows just sitting on their butts and I thought that was the cutest thing so I found um, some reference work of cows sitting like that and then I think I 
saw most of them they looked just sort of like a dog sitting but you know it's a cow instead and then I saw one that was a very chubby cow and its little belly was like paunched out over like over its legs and I thought that was the cutest thing so that's why I drew the little belly paunch on the uh the chocolate cow uh, the zebu I ended up doing laying down just because I knew I was going to be playing more with the shapes of the zebu, and they have some really distinctive markings, so I wanted it to be doing something, but nothing too exciting. And then the melon milk cow, if I was trying to draw it running and then jumping, and then I realized I was like, I don't know, I just... At that point, I was starting to get a little worn out. <laughs> so I ended up just going with a just another standing pose, but I kind of did that where they stick their head up in the air and they sniff or moo and they look very cute. So I decided to go with that and I wanted to add like the great big doe eyes that Jersey cows are famous for, why they're so pretty. They have big, pretty doe eyes. Um, but in my style, it just kept coming out as empty, dark pits. <laughs> so I closed its eyes and gave it really exaggerated lashes to kind of translate that big beautiful jersey doe-eyed face and then uh yeah I thought the poses were cute the flats were simple I didn't want to do too much to them because I wanted it to really be about how silly the premise was and not too much about um trying to be super like accurate or trying to make a super detailed painting I mean I don't you know my art I don't make super detailed paintings but I really, really, really wanted to just push this, like, goofy, silly idea. I thought it was very fun and cute. So I went in and I added my details slowly to each painting, and I kind of went up layer by layer. And I'm sorry that the video jumps back and forth, or, um, like, the screen isn't always centered the way it's supposed to be. I tried my best to get the camera put back, or my my phone is what I use for my camera right now. I don't have a proper camera. So I was trying to get it back into the cradle and framed up right each time for each new painting, but I had to take my phone out to like, you know, answer texts and do things. <laughs> so I couldn't have it in the exact same place. And then especially going into the second day, it moved some more. Eventually I'll be able to afford a camera proper that can stay in a cradle and stay mounted so you can just see it. <laughs> but until then, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, so yeah, the strawberry cow I think is my favorite. I think I had the most fun adding all the little details to it. And I had the best um, vision for what I wanted to do with it right from the get-go. So that one I think turned out the best. The chocolate and the banana milk cow, both of those, you'll notice the anatomy on them is a little bit funky. And the reasoning is, is that in order to film this way, I wanted everything to sort of stay in the same place so that as I jump back and forth between the different cows, you'd be able to just see as I went. Which meant that the first two, I taped them down and I drew them taped down in one position. And as a result, I screwed up my anatomy. I'm used to looking at my art when I'm drawing from all different angles. I'll move the paper around and get it into position. Like, I'll draw upside, like right side up for a while and then I'll turn it 90 degrees or 45 degrees and kind of get a different angle on it as I draw so that I can make sure my anatomy looks all right. But staring at it from one angle the whole time <laughs> resulted in the banana cow having, well, both of them not really having much of a neck, neither the banana nor the chocolate cow. <laughs> and both of them having really, really big heads. <laughs> So that's why you don't see the drawing stage for the melon and the strawberry cow, because as soon as I realized what had happened, <laughs> I decided those two I would just draw and then put them into their place to, to, uh, to paint. Uh, for all of this, I used my koi watercolors. I wasn't using anything exciting. I, I do really love my bean paints, and I like to use them a lot, but since I was doing something that I wanted to do quickly and I didn't want to, have to spend a lot of time mixing colors because it was getting dark. <laughs> I pulled out my Koi set because it's just got a whole bunch of different colors already there and I had to just do some quick mixing to get it done. Um, and then once everything was painted and I'd added all my little details into them, gradients, markings, little blushy cheeks, I went back in and I decided each of them was going to get a little halo of all of the, um, not all of the, but I guess things related to their 
milk <laughs> to their illustrations. So the banana milk cow here, I've got bananas, I've got uh, like a milkman's jug with banana milk in it and a m banana milk curtain. It's hard to say banana milk a bunch of times. A little splash and uh, I thought that was a really fun detail. And I think originally I was going to try and do different ones for each, like not just the halo or like different shapes, but then I realized really quickly that I liked that and I liked that it kind of tied them all together. So I ended up doing that for all of them. So it's like the chocolate milk one. You can see I've still got the same milkman's chocolate milk bottle, like the ones that they used to leave on your doorstep, and the carton and a glass. And I added some chocolate chips and a chocolate bar, and basically just went through and did a bunch of little details for each one with stuff related to what you know what they make or what they're made of. And I had a lot of fun illustrating this. <laughs> So I had recently, when I did these illustrations, I had actually taken um, time off from work. I'm actually at the end of the time off I had taken off from work, and I'm going back to work today actually. And I had taken some of that time to do some illustrations, I had taken some of that time to set up an in-print store. It's not got any prints in it yet because I haven't had the time to clean up my paintings. But these ones will be made into prints to go on the imprint store, so if you want to buy prints of them, you will be able to very soon. Um, my hope is if I don't get some stuff posted by the end of this week that I'm recording, then my next couple days off after my work week, I'm going to try and finish cleaning up some more things and put them up there. I'm going to use um, my imprint and uh, my Society6 store, which I'm also going to be adding products to very soon, to sort of gauge interest in what I should make my own merch of. Um, eventually to sell as well. So if you like these cows, you can buy prints of them. Uh, you might be able to even buy mugs with them on it, which I thought was a kind of cute idea. You could have a chocolate milk mug, <laughs> which would be over on Society6. But you can check now, but, but probably while this posts, they won't be ready yet. But I just wanted to give you a heads up so you can keep an eye out. Um, you can also join my Patreon at any time. Um, I've recently found out that my Discord I can stream through with my very poor internet. So uh, if you join my Patreon at the Silky Chai tier, <laughs> you can request uh, doodles and drawings during those streams. And I'm going to try and do at least once a month, possibly more, depending on what my schedule looks like with my day job. And I've also uh, plan on... Um, reopening some other things for the Chai Silky tier where I let you help me do monthly prompts and add things like your pets to my prompts, things like that. So if you want to support me there, you definitely can. But here are all four of the cows, all done. They were very fun to do. I really enjoyed painting them. I had asked on my Instagram for some other people's local flavored milk choices, so I might end up painting some more of those flavored milk ones if I like them. Um, I know there was a lot of interesting ones that I had never heard of before, so that was really, really fun. Like root beer milk? It makes sense because here in Canada we have, in the States, when I lived in the States, we would have root beer floats. So you put ice cream in root beer, why not make it like a tasty flavored sweet milk? But in any case, um, if I do do more of those paintings, you'll see them here or at least on my Instagram. And I'd love it if you'd support me over on Patreon. And you know what? Just have a great day. Bye. <laughs>